What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my Ocean Block Let's Play. Um, I uh, I didn't see until after I was done. Last episode was an hour long. Uh, so what I'm planning now in retrospect, that's going to be a two-parter, just so it's easier to digest. Um, and I'm just going to put both parts out in a single day. Uh, but uh, this episode, uh, well, uh, we need to go to the nether. Because I need blaze rods, like, terribly. I need, I need, um, ender eyes, and, uh, I need a whole bunch of stuff. So we're gonna go to the nether. Um, just a couple of updates. Uh, I actually made a bottom floor here, um, because I had enough materials to make a whole floor of these conveyor belts, and I put blurst earth. Because there's three different types of earth that you can make. You can make cursed, blessed, and then there's blurst. And blurst one uh, is just one of these semi-stable ingots, which is actually really easy to make. Um, but it spawns all mobs. So I made a, a row of them. And uh, it actually, again, did so well that I now have a bunch of ender pearls that I can use, which was the main reason why I wanted to do it. Uh, and the main reason why I made this guy right here, the Ender Inhibitor. Um, because this uh, little contraption, it's like a, a circle or something near it. I don't know how big the range is, but it prevents Endermen from teleporting away. Um, so it's from the same uh, mod pack as the mob grinding utilities. And I just put it on the side of the wall right there. Um, so we have a bunch of Ender Pearls now. And uh, a bunch of other stuff, too. We got some, like, potions of healing, uh, swiftness, uh, what else? We got different types of slime. Um, let's see. Is there anything else cool in here? We have glowstone dust, but we're going to be going to the nether. Uh, we started getting ink sacks because a bunch of squids uh, spawned. Uh, we didn't get anything, like, super rare. Like, I think ender pearls are probably the best thing that we got. Um... Yeah, because the rest of this, I mean, we had a bunch of blizzes as well, which I'm not really sure. Let's get this blizz powder. Okay. Um, which is not... Huh. Not not crazy useful. I thought blizz powder was more useful than that. Uh, but... Um, huh. Whatever. Uh, anyways, yeah, we need to go to the nether. Um... This whole contraption has been working out really, really well. Uh, I actually attached a tube here because I've been putting in these redstone clusters into here. And I have it whitelisted, which I found out that the, depending on the rarity of the pipes one, uh, it unlocks more and more options here on the left. So this first here only gives you redstone. The gold one gives you distribution, but the diamond level gives you filtering. Um... So I put on redstone and lapis in the filter thing here. And uh, <laughs> it's been doing really well for the metal sides of things too. Um, I've just been going over here and emptying this out as I see fit. This one's already full. Again, we need, um, we need storage, but we need to go to the nether for blaze rods and nether quartz because something I forgot about is that refined storage uses a ton, a ton of this quartz enriched iron, which we are going to need nether quartz for. And um, unfortunately, uh, we don't really have anything else set up. I might be able to get into mystical agriculture. Um, if we go down far enough, I think. Uh, how do I get to tier one of these, though? Because uh, I know that we use... Uh, you know what? I don't... I don't quite know. I don't... Mm. I'm going to have to do some research on uh, mystical ag agriculture again. But before we go into the nether, I want to set up a way of, for us to use our ender pouch so we can send stuff home. Um, because even though I, ha I made myself a little backpack, which is really simple. It's just a little chest. Um... And uh, leather is really all it is. But if we go to the backpack mod, there's uh, a couple of levels of it. Uh, the next one's gold, then diamond, then another star. Uh, holds 99 stacks, which um, 
pretty crazy but yeah we'll, we'll we'll move up to the gold one eventually because this is not a lot of space but i've packed it full of goodies uh water is not going to really help us in the nether but uh, it's just kind of stuff that i want to keep on me that uh just in case if i need it more coal for torches honestly we could probably put a little bit more in there put like another half stack onto that uh, so I'm going to do a really crude uh, way to set up storage here. So uh, we're going to put down some pipes. And we're just doing that. That's it, because these pipes are amazing. And uh, this mod has been fantastic. So there we go. We're all set up on that. But now we need to set up our chest. And for people who have never used an ender chest before... Um, this is a mod that goes back ages, and this is the only three things that are ever in it. Um, at least as far as I can remember. There's the Ender Chest. Really simple, um, recipe. I don't think this is, this has ever changed. Uh, Ender Tank, which is the same deal, but with a cauldron, and it's the same thing with the, uh, Ender Tank. And then the Ender Pouch. And the pouch is something that you can keep with you and just open it up. And you can see that it's linked right now because e the three little colored sections here are all white. These are all white. So if I change that first one by right-clicking it with some dye, this is no longer linked. So it's on a different channel. So we're going to make our like miscellaneous or like our main chest right here. Blue, white, blue. And if you're on a server, you can actually take a diamond and right-click the little latch right here. And it makes it private to you. So multiple people could have this color combination so i believe if we just shift and right click yep it changes the color here to blue white blue and now they're relinked so if i throw something in here like uh, the stick it's going to get pulled out and thrown into these chests and now we have this amount of room uh with us out in the nether uh the other thing i want to do is i don't have a way to drain my experience right now at least as far as i'm aware uh, outside of the XP Singularity um, tank, where you just stand on it and it drains your... Um, at least I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you stand on it, then it, it drains your experience into the tank. Um, at least <laughs> that is what I'm counting on. Uh, I can't make it right now because you can see it it's two eyes of Ender. And we don't have blaze uh, powder, so we need to go to the end and risk that. But uh, I don't want to go there with all this experience on hand because I'm just going to lose it. So I'm just going to unlock two more tabs here. Um, and that'll give us room for more trinkets uh, whenever we get them. And so the, the three that I have up here are the, the speed one, bones, and the enchanting one. Uh, so I have the invisible one more health, the thing that it won't uh, let me die, creeper thing, and then the uh, vein miner. I got all that experience from that blurst earth thing. Basically, I would just let it kill stuff, and I'd walk down here, and I found out if I stood here, right, just like that, I'd gain the experience uh, a lot easier. So I'm just going to toss this stuff back into this chest, because I do not need it. I have a bunch of steak with me. Oh, <laughs> another thing I did. Made a smelter. Um because uh, I needed to upgrade my tools. I will show you guys how that works a little bit later. It's uh, it's pretty simple though. I say that as I'm like grabbing stuff to show you guys how it works. But you just throw anything in here that can smelt in a normal smelter and it smelts it down to a liquid. In fact, we can speed this up. And um, if you have multiple liquids in here, you just click on this liquid and it preps it to be drained out of any of these faucets. And um, you just make a cast of whatever you want to do, um, which is just by putting gold in there. And then you put whatever part you want to make a cast into this table here and pour gold over it. And it creates, oh, well, I just made uh, iron bars. Wonderful. But thankfully, with a lot of things, you could put it right back in there and resmelt it. Um, so... Uh, the repair kits are really good for tinker stuff because they let you um, 
repair your tinker's tools without coming to a table. So um, if I wanted to repair my pickaxe, I could just put it in there. This would be a complete waste right now uh, and repair it. So it's nice to make a bunch of the metal that your tools are made out of and bring them with you. Uh, and we're gonna put our pipes away. We're going to put on our magnet. We're gonna keep our bow ready. I got a couple of extra arrows and we're gonna go into the nether. In fact, I was gonna make a second backpack, but I decided not to. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. You know what? Probably should have seen that coming. Here I am getting ready to go. Wow. Okay. So there's no other dimensions? I'm still kind of like processing the fact like that there's no nether. I mean, I guess it would make sense this is ocean block, but I'm pretty sure even in stone block and sky block games, you could, uh, you could go to the nether. So, um, Damn, we're going to have to figure out a different way of getting blaze rods. So what are our options? Uh, obviously, mystical agriculture is a great way of doing it. Uh, we can make blazing blood. Okay, that would be great if we had blaze heads or blazes in general. Uh, let's see. Uh, three blaze powders in a press will give us one. Uh, and we can get it as a random loot in uh, red barrels and pulsating crates. Which, holy cow, pulsating crate, 9% chance for a nether star. This sounds... This sounds evil, though. <laughs> I think anything that is pulsating, it sounds pretty evil. Um... Okay, so I guess our best bet is probably to figure out how to make blaze powder. Flame lily, many utilities, so no, no crafting material there or um, recipe. Um, we could throw crushed nether rack, throw a diamond sieve in lava uh, for a 12% chance. Um, or you can use a gold mesh for... A much less one. Nether Sprouts. Uh, 20 FE. Crusher. It's used for that. Okay. Uh, whoops. Uh, no. Recipe for these. Thank you. Uh, pulverizer and recycled ender items for it, obviously. That's actually how I got my one blaze powder for the Excuse me. I don't know why I'm yawning right now. <laughs> um, for the uh, the thing that prevents Endermen from teleporting is the second Ender pouch that we had. I ground it up. Uh, so interesting. I guess sluicing is probably going to be our best bet then, because I get we we get quartz from it as well, which means that we need we need to we need to use our lava then. And then we also need to make crushed nether rack. So to make that is just nether rack being crushed. Great. Which is looks like lava and redstone in a tempered glass jar will give us nether rack. Or we could do crushed basalt. Mm, Batania is not anything. Mechanical drying basin. Okay, so we could get magma blocks, but it's not super sustainable right now. Man, I really wanted to get a refined storage system set up uh, before this, but I guess this is probably going to be our best bet. Um, don't really like using our redstone for that, but we don't really have an option here. So... This is our, uh, our jar that has no... Uh, heat on it, so we need to change this tank uh, to a lava one. Uh, and we'll we'll move that out of the way. Oh, right. 
my magnet. Get, take that off. No, oh, give me my bow back. <clears throat> All right, so we'll just keep this, I guess, on dust because that's going to keep getting us redstone. Um, and now I need to figure out how to navigate. Well, I guess, you know what? Well, uh, no, I don't have a second ender tank. So we're going to have to pull from here. We need more fluid pipes. Because I don't want to make another thing that makes... Uh, oof. That makes lava when this one overproduces the lava. Uh, and I think... I think we can drain that. Yep, just like that. Gorgeous. And this guy, we're just going to scoot on, scoot on by and try not to connect to our water line there. All right, there we go. Um, and then that's already connected to that. And <laughs> that's right. Um, actually, we need to Let's go create another crafting bench here or crafting station crafting station stealing one of these because this is going to help us make these into blocks a little bit quicker All right, so we need to just create a ton of it. So there's all that. And now we change our recipe to redstone and one bucket of lava equals that. Okay, cool. It's pretty quick. That is good to know. And we can actually disable that. And we're going to have to put lava in there. So I guess we could... I guess we're going to have to pull off of this line too. Uh, that, ne does, that doesn't necessarily need water right now, but we can always just disconnect this line too. Get that flint and steel out of my inventory. <coughs> because it's, uh, oh, not that chest. I'll put it in another chest. Uh, it's no longer useful. Oh, accidentally put water in here. Come on, man. What are you doing? You're embarrassing me here. Uh, we actually probably don't need that much. This is probably going to be good enough to get us going. Uh, I also just don't want to, I don't want to use all of our redstone because it's, uh, it's handy. I'll put it in this chest. Eventually, you know, we'll make drawers and stuff like that for it, but until now. I guess my ultra uber... Uh, lava creating thing is not uh, as good as I thought it was. Hey, cool. All right. Lava works in there. That's awesome. So uh, now 
We need to use our wrench. I wonder if I can... Can't do a whitelist. Just trying to pull the gravel. Don't do gravel. Oh, it's got to be crushed now the rack. That's right. Okay. Uh, so big, big dummy here. So we could crush it. It's just going to be better if we just do it with a hammer. It's going to be faster. So what we're going to do is create an iron wand because uh, we broke our last one. Or it's it's somewhere here with like one durability. I don't know where it's at. Uh, and then actually put it in our inventory. Take a quick nap for our solar panel. And we're going to do this. go and awesome crush netherrack and we'll put that in here and thankfully pipes and everything is really intelligent um so we're not actually uh needing to put in a filter or anything it only pulls the items that'll actually work in the responding inventory which is uh really awesome Ugh, just trying to just trying to break this hammer oh, <laughs> there we go um make another iron wand hammer we're gonna make an iron hammer as well because we have we have iron now so I'm not going to be shy about using it. There we go. Great. Iron hammer lasted a lot longer than uh, expected. Uh, and we'll keep, uh, I guess we'll keep that little bit of nether rack uh, for safekeeping. Okay, we're still making, uh, yeah, we still need lava for this guy here. Um, so that's that looks like our, our biggest uh, problem right now. So let's go see if we can't use time in a bottle on... I assume this block. Oh, can I? There it is. Wonderful. Uh, so that's the sort of lava production I'm talking about. And I'm not worried about losing cobblestone because we have 8,000 cobblestone in there. This one's just slowly going up because this guy is eating up lava, which is good. That's what we want. Maybe we'll do that. We'll get both of them working. That way we're not actually waiting. And, and you know, we got plenty of time. Literally in a bottle. I'm seeing a lot of blaze down there too, which is great. I don't want to. I don't want to take it to 256, but I do want to take it to like maybe 3264 again, somewhere around there. Not quite sure why it shuts itself off, but uh, that's great. Okay, and. We could just get rid of these containers by throwing them in there. 
I've moved a steak, by the way, just because we had so much of it, and it gives a lot more uh, saturation. So uh, that's why it's filling up. Because this guy, this tank isn't helping out either. Um, but I wanted him to be, I want him to be an input and output. So let's, we'll do this, change that to an output. That way this guy could actually use it. We also need to upgrade these tanks, I think. We might, we, we, we should probably move them to the uh, 1024 ones because uh, it's not expensive. So anyways, what does that uh, mean? We got blaze powder. That's great. Quartz chunks are really not good. I was really hoping for more of those, but... That's okay. Uh, solarium block, solarium gemstone, solarium ingot. We do need to do that at some point. Um, soulstone cobble. Okay. Glowstone dust. Blood shrooms. I don't really know what those are for, but we get some coagulated blood out of them if we put them into a botany plant. Uh, cobalt chunk, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Cobalt is a really high-end material for tinkers. Uh, it's usually what you upgrade like your normal pick to uh, because it mines super fast and has a lot of durability. Um, boy, I was really hoping for more blaze powder than this. So, I don't know. We, I think it might be time for us to like look into mystical agriculture. I'm not sure. So I'm going to wrap up the episode here and uh, I will catch you guys uh, for the next one uh, after I do a little bit more research on mystical agriculture because it might be our best bet for some of these resources that are kind of a pain to get to and we need we need a lot of nether quartz. We need a lot of nether quartz and we are just not really getting it here because uh, that's going to give us that and we use that to make it into... Uh, let's see, probably the enrichment chamber. Yeah, we get six per cluster, which there's five there, so 30 right now. I think we might have enough for the beginning. Uh, the small, the first stage of storage where we can have, like, the controller. Because the controller is only four pieces of quartz enriched, which is fine. Um, we'll need to make process. This is all actually much cheaper than you think outside of the diamond. Um, so that's good. So we just need that guy. We need a grid. Well, we'll make a crafting one because it's not expensive to just upgrade it to one more. Uh, and then storage. So we could either make a full on block or we go for the disk drive and then make a disk. Uh, like a 1K disk. Where is it? 1K storage disk. But you can see how much enriched iron we're, we're burning through here. Um, so these are the recipes. They're not terribly complicated. It's just this one material. This one thing is costing us so much. So honestly, this would be, this would be the dream right here. If we can get coarse and rich iron seeds, throw that bitch in a botany pot, which will just grow infinitely, uh, just in its own like little area. Oh yeah. We just got to figure out how to make these seeds and, oh, mystical agriculture has an altar now. Oh boy. Okay. You know what? That'll be next episode. Next episode, we're getting into mystical agriculture. We're going to make an altar. We're going to figure out this is that's all new stuff to me. So uh, let's uh, let's check that out. So I will see you guys for the, the next episode for the uh, I'm going to say it one more time just to make sure that you guys heard me. I'll see you for the next episode. Hit that like button or don't. I don't whatever.